Welcome to High Infidelity. The best cheating videos on YouTube. If you enjoy this content, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now let's get into the video. Beyonce is cheating on me and I am heartbroken update. This weekend, I discovered that my fiancé is almost certainly, 99% certain, cheating on me and I have never felt more betrayed. I'm completely heartbroken and disillusioned. In a nutshell, she told me she was going to a performance with a friend and that her buddy had a spare ticket and had approached her. I was thrilled for her and advised her to enjoy herself. Later that night, I received a text message from a buddy that said, Bro, isn't that? At the same performance, my fiancé and her female companion were seen by three males. In the photos, he supplied three. The man is in the midst of the throng with his arms around my fiancé, and they are kissing. Not even a friendly kiss. Liplock is completely immersed in it. When I saw them, I nearly puked. It's unmistakably her, saying dress, etc. And one was a quite good close-up of her profile, and I recognized her buddy as well. I'm not familiar with him. I didn't know what to do since I was so devastated and sick. I just exited the flat and began strolling. I immediately texted a buddy, asking if I might drop by, sure, he said. As soon as he saw me, he sensed something was really wrong and sat me down, where I spilled the beans. I wept, the full shebang. He was the finest. He looked after me, got me drunk and high, and we hung around all night chatting and drinking. I ended up staying at his house. I wake up, it's a Sunday, I'm tired, and it's already after 10, to a dozen SMS from her. Where am I? Why am I not responding? Is it true that I'm in the hospital? She's going insane, she says. I merely emailed her a picture of her kissing the man and left it at that. Then she started phoning and texting all the time, so I simply shut off the phone. I haven't returned to our apartment and haven't spoken to her. I turned off her phone. I can't even make out who she is. I'm frightened of crying in front of her, and I don't want to. We were meant to be married in April, and we were in the midst of preparations. She seemed to be delighted and enthusiastic about our future. It's all gone now. A few people are aware of my situation and are rooting for me. I've heard from them that she's trying all she can to get in touch with me. She came up to my workplace on Monday morning, but I refused to let her in. I also exited down the alley, since a coworker texted me yesterday that she was sitting in her vehicle outside of work. I know I'll have to speak to her eventually, if only to get my out of the flat and terminate the lease and everything. But I'm shattered. Thank you for allowing me to rant here. I was and continued to be astonished, not just by the outpouring of kindness but also by that number of individuals who have had similar situations. I wish I could respond to everyone, but I hope this suffices. Thank you very much. My brother arrived here yesterday and booked an Airbnb for me until Tuesday, so I'm currently living with him. He's fantastic, and I'm fortunate to have him here. As many of you have said, I am fortunate to have him and my other wonderful family, as well as a wonderful group of friends. They've been fantastic. When something like this occurs, you find out who you can rely on. So, after a lengthy discussion with my brother, I spoke with my ex last night, and yes, she is an ex. He was present, but he allowed me some space. It was terrible, as you would guess, and much worse than I had anticipated, although I was prepared for the worst. As soon as she responded, she burst into tears and of course, I burst into tears as well, which sucked since I didn't want to weep over the phone or in front of her. When we were finally able to communicate, she began apologizing, sobbing, and pleading with me to return home. I'll save you the rest of what was said since, honestly, writing it down hurts. But, to cut a long tale short, as I regained control, I asked her who the man was and what had happened, and essentially told her she needed to tell me everything right now. So she informed me that her friend, with whom she went to the performance, and her boyfriend, with whom the friend was at the show, had introduced them when they were all out for drinks and supper in June, I was visiting family. She said it wasn't a setup and that the man simply happened to be there at the same moment. She said he obtained her phone number from a friend and began messaging her. She said she ignored him at first, but eventually responded, and they began messaging. She continued, insisting she had no idea why she had done it. I despise even writing this. She met him for drinks, and they proceeded to his house to have. She claimed they'd had maybe a half dozen times, all at his house, after I practically forced her to tell me, but I'm not sure, I believe her for reasons I don't even want to discuss. She was weeping the whole time, and I couldn't understand a word she said, but she kept apologizing and saying she loved me and was sorry. I was actually trying not to vomit. I told her I had to hang up 
and then sat there feeling as if someone had kicked me in the belly. All that, and I couldn't breathe. Worst sensation I ever had. I went on a walk by myself and just faded out for a while then came back and sat with my brother for a while and we spoke. And basically, he just sat there squeezing me tightly. I'm not sure what I would have done if he hadn't been there. So, yeah. I emailed her late last night. I told her I'd be there on Saturday with my brother and closest friend to grab my belongings. I told her not to come. I informed her that I had previously spoken with the leasing firm. They are terminating my lease at the end of October, so I told her she may remain there until then, rent is already paid and I will get my deposit back too, which is awesome. I told her to take care of any wedding details. We have a deposit on a reception location that we will most likely lose, but to give a I told her I didn't want anything to do with us, and she could have all that trash. I told her I didn't want to speak to or see her anymore. She answered this morning, but I haven't read it yet and don't intend to do so today. So, that's where we are. Thank you again to everyone who has been so encouraging. It means a great deal to me. Story 2 Me, 28 male, with my wife, 27 female, 5 years married, 11 years together, cheated on me. Love may be perplexing at times, but I'm not sure whether it's love or merely attachment to a routine or habit, or even dread of the unknown, fear of being alone. My wife cheated on me when we were teens. I was 18 and she was 17. We began dating in high school when we were 15 and 16 years old, respectively. I initially found her on the phone because I was paying her mobile phone bill at the time and was able to track the calls she was making. There was one number in particular that she would call and chat to for hours after midnight. I invited her to hang out with me after work one day, but she didn't respond to my messages or phone calls, so I decided to surprise her. She had left work 10 minutes early, so I'm sure she knew I was going to see her. She didn't respond to my messages or calls all night, and when I phoned the number she usually calls after midnight. This man answered and simply groaned and clicked, I guess he knew who it was. I was so enraged that I decided to wait for her in front of her home so that I could terminate our relationship. It was pouring, and I waited for what seemed like hours while becoming soaked. When she eventually arrived and I informed her I was terminating our relationship, she started kicking and screaming, literally, at me not to leave her and that she would change. The following day, I discovered she had contacted the man again, presumably to break up with him. After approximately five or six years, we get married, have a kid, and I decide to join the military. Everything was wonderful, and I had given her my whole faith for most of these years. She informed me one day that she wanted to get some additional money, and that there was this elderly person who needed assistance with arithmetic, and that she wanted to teach him at the bowling alley. I didn't think twice about it and told her it was okay, but she didn't have to, which she insisted on. One of those days, she comes home smelling of perspiration and not sweat from hot day, but sweat from an aerobic session at the gym. When I challenged her about it, she said that it had been hot at work, but I couldn't trust her. I decided to play it cool and do a more in-depth investigation later on. After a month or two, when I saw her guard was down again, I went to check her phone and discovered on her Facebook that she had been contacting this one strange man, but all of her communications had been erased. I checked my phone, and she was at the top of my contacts since she was the one I engaged with the most, which meant she communicated with this man the most but she erased all her texts. I continued to go through her messages and saw that she was flirting with another man, telling him that he looked quite attractive in his uniform. To be honest, it was enough proof for me to approach her about it. She never apologized or even confessed to anything, so I decided to separate, at least temporarily. The hardest part was saying goodbye to my baby, but I knew it had to be done. Fast forward three or four months, and three of my friends kept telling me about this one night when she got incredibly drunk and essentially admitted to their spouses that she had been having an affair and felt so bad about it, that she had been unfaithful to me for weeks. I've chosen not to return with her, but I thought it'd be a good idea to ask the Reddit community what they thought. Should I return to her? Attempt to repair the situation? Just for my son's sake, should I instead live my own life, start over, and meet new people? Since she left, I've become a better person. I went through a terrible emotional roller coaster but now I'm happy and balanced. I honestly don't want to think about what she may be doing right now in the back of my mind. Is she truly working? Is she actually going to the gym? Will she cheat on me again when I'm elderly and unable to find someone new? Relationships can be challenging to begin with.